Bet you get a lot of looks in this thing. How beefy these things are. And these calipers are what? Six liter Chevy LS. dirty got the c10 ready got the parts ready got the square body keeping an eye on us making sure we're doing everything right because this one already has qa1 in it that's right will woods and qa1 Chink. All right guys, welcome back, Street Trucks Garage. We got a new cool project for you in this episode, but before we start, we wanna thank our sponsor, QA1 Suspension. They make really, really great suspensions for all kinds of classic and somewhat modern vehicles, cars, trucks, and everything. We've already done it on the square body. It's an amazing setup. We even got some Willwood brakes and TMI interior on it. We took that on Power Tour. If you guys don't remember that whole video series, jump back and look at it, but project for today, the 68C10. This is a gold C10, already got a couple things done to it, but QA1 has this new front cross member suspension kit out for it. We knew right when we saw it, we had to have it. So Dave's the owner and the builder. What's up, Dave? Let's talk about this truck a little bit. How you doing 68? today, Chris? Yes, it's a 68 okay. C10, short wheelbase. Nice. It, uh, it's got your conventional basic uh, drop spindles uh, with a small drop in the uh, spring as well, drop mm -hmm. springs. About how it sits, but I've always wanted to get it down a little lower. Yeah. Uh, the truck is not C-notched at this time. Okay. And with the QA1 kit, we're gonna get it down much lower. Which is what most people did. Yeah. So now that these suspensions have uh -huh. come along, now this is the perfect example. If you had a truck like this back in the day and you modified it just to look good or, you know, look custom, now's the chance to make it also ride good. The new uh, QA1 has a actual rack and pinion oh, built yeah. into the whole cross member. It's gonna be an exciting fun and, and if it rides as good as this uh, truck over here yeah. does, we're yeah. ripping around the corners here. We gotta see how it rides first before we see how it rides after. All right, we're gonna go for a ride. Let's see how this thing rides before we do the suspension on it. Bet you get a lot of looks in this thing. Yeah, it, uh, it'll be even nicer with it down lower. Yeah. I can feel hard spots in the tires, I guess, from sitting. Really? Yeah. From sitting. I don't even feel them or not. <laughs> I sort of can, yeah. They remind me of when I had super swampers on my truck and they were halfway up on Let me just make sure. All right, folks. The hood's not that. Just a or word of advice. If you're going to go for a ride, make sure the hood's closed all the way. All right. <laughs> Down now. I haven't driven this truck in a long, long, long time. Really? It doesn't like this octane long enough to get some high octane. See this curve right here? Yeah. All right, so here we are, the gold truck. We're trying to think of a name. Project Gold Truck, Project Goldie, Goldilocks, what do you guys think? Leave a comment, tell us what you think the name of this truck should be. We got all the QA1 suspension parts unboxed. What you can expect if you wanna do this yourself. We're not gonna do it on a lift. We're gonna do it right on the ground. We're not gonna pull the bed off, hopefully, and uh, everything should go smooth. So Dave, let's go over some of these parts. Yeah, so well, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do the rear suspension first, which is over there by Chris. It's got the track bars. How beefy these things are. Over there to his right is, is the C notch. Yep. It's all reinforced heavy duty. And then we got uh, the rear coils and the shocks. Coils and shocks. Yep, they're all ready to go. Mounts right here. Mm. They bolt onto the frame. These bolt right in where those rivets were. They're all pre-drilled. This is nice uh, heavy duty powder coated yeah. steel here. It should uh, last a long time. I mean, look, look at the size of this joint here, man. Crazy. This is, this is cool. Don't drop that. It's, <laughs> it's gonna hurt you. There's a dual adjustable shocks. Man, these things are so nice too. Mm -hmm. Double adjustables. Yeah. Nice uh, bushings in here. 
of your not urethane they're a plastic type material i don't know what they call it but uh, look yeah. like it's going to get many years of uh use out of it very cool well, uh the truck's already sort of lowered a little bit like we mentioned earlier so uh, we already took it out for a ride we unboxed all the parts we got everything laid out so now it's just time to get to work There's your difference. This is fact QA1. Look at the difference. In the weight difference is actually. Okay. Gift in the mail, the QA1, the sway bars, fake grass. Anyway, sway bar. All right, looks like we're gonna be good. All right, back at the shop. Got the rear end out, all the old suspension components out. Starting to put the new stuff in, so let's check in on it. Hang out here, another one. So this notch is already cut out. Did you guys just use a, a cutoff wheel for that? Yeah. But those are core three brackets? Yeah. Oh, really? You know what core three is? Yeah. And these calipers are what now? Corvette. What year? It's a C6. C6. And what axle is this? This, this original axle out of the truck. And oh, okay. Z51 uh, Grand Sport brakes on it. Yeah, Z51 Grand Sport brakes. That hind joint is ridiculous. <laughs> the original locations, just with brackets? All right, so that's not all we're doing to the gold truck, which we still haven't named yet. Yes, I know that's a Ford. Six liter Chevy LS. That's right. Transmission, that's the heavy duty one. This came out of a 2019 van. So it's the heavy duty transmission, got a little more power. No DOD on this engine. That's gonna be the engine powering our gold C10. So it's in pretty good shape, low miles. 